In this tutorial, we are going to quickly multiply a whole number by a number containing a decimal. In this case, 6 times 3 and 5 tenths. The first thing we can do is write the number that contains more digits at the top. So I'm going to start by writing 3 and 5 tenths, and right underneath that I'm going to write times 6. The next thing we do is we carry out our multiplication as if it were a problem without decimals. I'm not even going to worry about the decimal until we get all of our digits at the bottom. 6 times 5 is 30, so we write a 0 and carry a 3. And 6 times 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21. Now, if you have a decimal inside the problem, you have to have a decimal in your answer. So if we take a look at this decimal right here, we can see that there is a total of one place value after that decimal. That means that in our answer, we also must have a total of one place value after the decimal. So our decimal must go in this location. If you come up with an answer that has a zero after the decimal and there's no other digits, you can simply eliminate that zero. So we can say that our answer is 21. Another way that you could have looked at this problem is by saying we are trying to figure out what six sets of three and a half is equal to. Well, using mental math, we should know that two sets of three and five tenths, or three and a half, would be equivalent to seven holes. So another pair of three and a half would also be equivalent to seven, and then two more sets for a total of six sets would be another seven. So altogether we can see that we have three sevens, which is equivalent to 21 holes.